another look. It's time to take a look back at a classic game played almost three years ago at Jenison Fieldhouse. The date was January 26, 1986, and the teams were the sixth-ranked Wolverines of Michigan, who were 17-1, and, and an 11-5 MSU squad led by a small guard named Scott Skiles. The Wolverines came into Jenison that night and were immediately confronted by an MSU crowd that was on go. Michigan, led by the passing of Gary Grant and the shooting of Antoine Jobert, jumped out to an early 4-0 lead. But quicker than quick, Scott Skiles came the other way and easily popped in a pair. It was a portent of things to come. Judd Heathcote was on the officials early and often, letting them know he wasn't missing a thing that night. Gary Grant to Antoine Jobert again, and Michigan moved out to a 14-10 lead. More often than not, however, the Wolverines had to battle for their points. Here, Butch Wade following his own shot for the bucket. But then State would roar down the floor, and Skiles would quickly shoot the jumper. His aim was deadly. MSU stayed close, and the fans were beginning to warm up. A calmer Judd Heathcote maneuvered his troops. Skiles again, this time with the steal and a perfect pass to Vernon Carr flying down the right wing for the lay-in. The Spartans take the lead. Bill Frater can watch, but can't believe what's happening. Skiles one-on-one -on -one against the whole Michigan team. Unstoppable. The Wolverines were having serious problems. Eight seconds left in the first half. Jobert. Put back up by Wade. Played by Pollock. 35 seconds left in the half. Skiles to Johnson. The Spartans are roaring. They are 15 up with 25 seconds left in the half, and this crowd is standing at Jenison Fieldhouse. Halftime, Spartans lead 44-31, and Scott Skiles has 22 points. It was a worried Bill Frieder that went to the locker room. Early in the second half, disaster struck Michigan. Roy Tarpley's over the back foul. It's his fifth. He must sit out the rest of the game. The crowd is ecstatic. Scott Skiles picks up in the second half where he left off in the first. A steal, and he drives to the length of the floor for an easy two. The Spartans are holding a 12-point lead. When not shooting, Skiles is drawing the entire Michigan defense to him. Here, leaving Dennis Johnson open the corner for an easy jumper. Richard Relford gets a steal, and with the resulting jam, lets off some of his frustration from the events of the night. Michigan can't get any closer than eight points. The camper, Skiles alley -oop to Carr. MSU by 15. Even Judd can't believe it, but he'll take it. Scott Skiles, an unbelievable night. 40 points, but what's more, a huge victory against Michigan, 91 to 79. It's a confidence builder for MSU. The Spartans win nine of their next 11 in the Big Ten, get a berth in the NCAA tournament, where they advance to the round of eight before losing in overtime to Kansas. Nevertheless, a brilliant season for MSU, and it started in January against Michigan.